Hi everyone, this is a... I've got a demo today of something that looks very interesting. I've got Mark Sams uh, with me. He's going to he's gonna do me a, a demo and talk about Ninja Outreach. Mark's one of the co-founders. Um, hi Mark. Hi Ben, how you doing? I'm very well, very well, a bit cold. But <laughs> other than that, so so you're in London. I'm, I am, I'm just well. a few few hours away in Sheffield area. Okay. So... <laughs> Ninja Outreach, this is, this is really new, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've literally just opened the doors around half, halfway through January. Fantastic. However, we've been doing beta testing for the last two and a half months. Mm -hmm. So, And before, before that, we were doing a lot of market research, speaking to potential clients and working out what, what needs to be in this to make sure that it, it really did hit the nail on the head. Brilliant. Okay, so I mean, in in one sentence, what what's it for? What problem does it solve? It allows you to network with. Sorry, it allows you to find, network, and build relationships with influent influencers. Okay, right. So, um, so it's a, it's. Would you say it's like a PR marketing tool? PR, yeah, you could you could call it a PR marketing tool. I think what it is is with, in, in today's day and age, like uh, PR marketing tools uh, back in the day were more geared towards things like uh, journalists and and people like that. Or with, with, with nowadays, uh, bloggers sort of rule the online world. And what this is good at is really finding you influential bloggers, also journalists and and different people in, in, in the media that you can connect with, build some sort of relation with, relationship with so you can collaborate with them. Obviously, it has to be an equal energy exchange, but uh, that allows, which will allow you to tap into their audience uh, and, and, and gain exposure to whatever product service you're offering. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting because we, we are in a... Um, the the world of publishing and the world of media is really one of those areas that's been turned upside down by the internet, hasn't it? You know, it used to be all top down, hierarchical cascade model, but now with microblogging, blogging, things like Huffington Post, and you know, we are all now media producers, and we are all now we can all now be editors in our own right. So what we're saying is that while in the traditional media channels, you've got databases you can subscribe to if you've got the money to, to be able to contact, you know, those media contacts. Mm -hmm. But they 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 are missing out on the new breed. Very true, very true. I I don't know. I I know reality 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 TV is is, is is a really big a really big thing of late. Like it's a big trend. Mm -hmm. And if you if if you if you have been caught up in watching any of it, like uh you'll see that like when people are launching products, one thing they always do is they invite all the bloggers out to their event because when, when, if the bloggers are going to blog about them, people, people read what the bloggers got to say and, and, and they have a lot of influence in people's buying decisions. So it, it's, it's, it's very much so like an individual can have a lot more influence than, say, a big publishing conglomerate nowadays. Yeah, yeah. This is, I mean, I, I, I haven't heard... I hadn't heard of this at all. I got an email the other day from your colleague David, who's another one of the uh, the founders of, of the business. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing he used your tool to find me. Very much so, yeah. <laughs> very much so, very much so, yeah. So that's what's really good about the tool as well, is that we we use we use our own tool to 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 to, to, to market our own tool. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Well it seems to be working so far. So yeah. who who is this for? Who is this absolutely right for, would you say, before we actually pull back the curtain and have a look? I'd say anybody that has, has a business or is starting a business and they need to get exposure, they need, they need to tap into other people's audiences and get their product in front of other people's audience, other people's audiences. So anybody that has that type of a business that that could benefit from so if you're in the jewelry business for example and you want to you want to get in front of like different magazines different blogs that are blogging about jewelry and so on and so forth this would be good for you but then but then on the flip side if you're if, if you're a consultant 
and you want to get in and you want to get in front of different people that are interested in business building skills and so on and so forth you can still you, you'll be able to find people within your niche that you can do things that you, that you can you can work some sort of collaborations with but at the end of the day what you have to remember is that just like any other tool this is a tool which facilitates the creativity that you have within yourself mm. it's not the tool is not a magic bullet yep got it yeah because really seo and link building have really now migrated into the world of pr you know everything is is kind of slowly kind of trickling up market to to influence being really really important isn't it well i think i think the reason is is because google are getting a lot smarter with the way that they rank pages and so on and so forth so you can't do the old tricks that you used to do to build links and so on and so forth that, that used to be done in the past so real real quality relationships need to be built and you need to have that and you need you need to have people mentioning you natural in content in in content uh links that that's what that's what you need to be that's that's that's, that's the sort of links that you need to be getting yeah. nowadays the, like natural editorial comment not yeah. yes not forced not fake so w- this isn't about manipulation in any way not not at all this is because about how can you find the people that you need to be in touch with exactly and got it again the key thing about this as well is that once you're in touch with that person the key is is that the tool is not magic so if you if you don't reach out to that person correctly then then you're not you're not going to get anywhere you need to you need there, there, there's ways of reaching out to somebody where you actually add value to them make where, where, where it's a reciprocal type mm. of uh, equal energy exchange if you like yeah, yeah so like so 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 basically that person feels like they're getting something out of the deal as well as you so yes as i say equal energy exchange fantastic okay so um just just briefly on on pricing i don't know if your pricing's completely nailed down but you know what's the what's the kind of price range that that people should be looking at for access to a tool like this well for us ourselves we're we're we're, we're charging on our lowest package it's it's twenty dollars a month which i think it's nineteen dollars a month and uh the highest package is a hundred and fifty dollars a month and basically you get each pack every so for the twenty dollars package and the hundred and fifty dollar package all the features are the same the only difference is, is is the amount of data that you can you can pull in so the amount of search data that you can pull in and the amount of data that you can save into your software but you still get all of the features fantastic yeah got it okay so i mean that's that seems i mean starting at under twenty dollars a month sounds really really reasonable so that's that should be in the range of really the small business as well very much so and that that was that was the idea as well we want to be we, we want to make it so that if somebody is like a solo entrepreneur and they're just starting up they can also access it and get some benefits from it and it's not like one of those tools that's costing you like a thousand dollars a month or something of that nature where you'd have to be uh, quite quite a big company to even consider that yeah yeah but so but how would you say mark that this um you know this basically gives you contacts, right? So you can then reach out to those people, but then you need to give them some kind of proposal. So are we talking about things like guest blogging, content marketing, or, or is, it, is it broader than that? Well, okay, so I'll give you an example. Like uh, for ourselves, like one thing that we did is we did a lot of, uh, we put a lot of different keywords in and we pulled back a lot of contacts within our industry and in internet marketing blogging field like different topics around like relationship building and things like that and then we we went out to these people and we 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 commented on on stuff that we like about their blog so each blog i'd looked at individually it's not like it's like an, it's not automatic like you just don't look at the blogs or anything like that you actually each blog i've looked at individually but then i've gone out to them and said like oh i like this about your blog so on and so forth reaching out to you because I'd like to do a guest blog post and so on and so forth. That's one way of reaching out to people. Uh, another way is you could you can find people's you can find different you can do it from link building point of view. Like if you if for example you've written you've written some content that, that you think that, that person has a resource where they could link to it from, uh, you just you just need to put the right keywords in, find people that are writing content similar to that and then reach out to them with, with a proposal of a valuable resource that they could put onto their page as well. 
there's tons of different there's tons of different ways that you can that you can build relationships and, and get exposure by using the software, but also by using outreach as a general methodology. Got it. Brilliant. Well, right, I think I kind of understand what it's for and, and who it's for. So how does it work? Well, pretty much you start off and uh, what you do is you, you put a keyword in. So I've already, I've already got a keyword in here, but I'll, I'll start with a new one. So I was doing, I was doing something earlier with, with a client where he was looking at like, like car blogs and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and, but what you literally do is you put a keyword in and it would it would go out and it start search it start searching it start searching on a ton of different resources directories uh, APIs and so on and so forth and it would pull back all of this all of this information here for you so you'd obviously see you obviously can see you've got the title of of the page it's pulled back you've got the URL this is all clickable and uh, you also have things like the social data which is all clickable so you've got their Twitter account you've got their G Plus account. And uh, you've got like an email address here. You've got a contact page uh, and the contact information there. Um, obviously, what we do is where, where we where we can find it, we'll pull it. So if we can find the address. You've got the address there, and then you've got like you've got information, some social information, some SEO metrics, uh, which obviously break down Alexa rank, page rank, domain authority, page authority, and Moz rank, and how many backlinks a particular website has. Uh, mm-hmm. A rough estimate of what the traffic the traffic is of that particular site, what the sort of average comments is per post, uh, plus special features which really gives you an indication: does this website do product reviews? Do they allow sponsored posts? Uh, giveaways is another another feature that we that we have there, right. and all of this information is is sortable. So, for example, what I could do is I could come in here and I could say uh, I want to I want to go highest page rank to lowest page rank. I want it in order of highest to lowest page rank. Mm-hmm. So I could I could sort it like that. Or I could say to myself, hold on, I want it to be lowest Alexa rank to highest Alexa rank. And then what I can do also is I've got I can click on advanced feet filters and I can I can filter via a number of different a number of different data points as well. So I could say I only want to see sites that have an email that have an email address. And as you can see out of the hundred, forty five of them pull came Came back, came back with an email address. So that uh, I might, I might just want a list that just has the email addresses, or I might be like, I only want to see the pages that have contact URLs, uh, and because obviously they've got contact forms on them. I can see you've got 57 there, and you can do this with all of the, all of the different uh, data points. So I could say I only want to look at sites that have uh, more than 50, more than 50 likes more than 50 shares mm-hmm. uh that has, a, that has a domain authority of 30 and above that has an alexa rank of 10,000 to 100,000 and this can be very useful for really targeting down on the demographic that you're looking for yeah got it. yeah all making sense at the moment yeah absolutely absolutely excellent excellent so moving on once you once you're happy with the results that you've got and you've filtered through them and you're happy you're happy with exactly what you've got then what you can do is you would go over to and and it's kind of like it's it's laid out in a sequential way. So it's like you start off on prospecting. Next step is you go to list list management. And what you would do is you'd literally, as you can see, I've already got campaigns in here already set up. But you, literally, what you do is you just click on create a list. Uh, I'll put in something like car blogs. Uh, you can put in you can put in a description if you want to. Sorry about that. Put in a description if you want to. Yeah. Just click on save, and that's now that's now created you a list for that for that for that particular for those for those for those uh, leads. Now, obviously, you can see there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there at the moment. So what you need to do is you need to go back over to them, just click on prospect, and you can either save one by one, mm-hmm. like if you just if, or you can just click on save all. And what you do is you drop, you use this drop down here. Make sure you've got the right list selected, yeah. which, which it already is. And you just click on save all, and that will save all of those leads into into your list view for you. And obviously, as I said, it was sequential. So we've done list management. You go into list view now, and you can you can choose the list that you want. Obviously, that was the car blogs. So 
you'll get the carb logs and that's and that's and that's them there and you can do all the same filtering that you did before from from this section also Got and it. this is your list now the next step is literally is the out so that's the pros, that's the prospecting phase mm -hmm. prospecting and filtering phase the next phase of outreach is 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 the actual outreach process it's actually going out to people so the first thing you want to do is you want to create some templates uh of different things you're gonna you're gonna use to obviously to, 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 to contact people. So I've got I've got I've got I've got a variety of different ones. What you do is you just click, you literally just click on create create template. You've got the ability to use HTML or just plain text. If you use HTML, you can put in any code you want and have it looking all fancy and nice. Mm -hmm. You've also got custom fields. So for example, full name, first name, and you can drag these things in like the website details and stuff like that and it'll automatically place those things in from the data that it's that is pulled so yep. you can you can you can very much customize uh the way that you do your messages uh which is which is very good for yeah it's just it's just, it's just good for obviously making your messages look look as custom as possible mm -hmm. and not and not look templated uh i'll show you some examples of just a couple of different ones i've got here like so you can see that I've got an interview one, and it's just, it just comes up here. And you can see my different tags that I've got in there, yep. and stuff like that. So yeah, it's really simple. Just adding adding your templates, and you can test them test with your templates. We are going to be adding literally very soon the ability to track your response rate, so you'll know how many people have, how many you've sent to, how many people have opened, how many people have clicked a link, how many people have responded, and so on and so forth. So you can work out which templates are working the best for you, which headlines are working the best for you, and that's going to be really cool because being able to track things is, 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 is a very important part of, of building an effective marketing campaign. Yeah. So, so Mark, is this, um, is this installed software or is it a browser-based software? So, yeah, this is, this, is, this, is a, this is a desktop software. You need to install it down to, down to your, uh, your computer. And, it's, and at the moment, at this current moment, it's for Windows only. Uh -huh. uh, however, where as as we speak, our coders are our coders are actually are actually working on turning this into a web a whole a whole web based solution. So it'll be available for everybody from Windows, Linux, to any anybody that can actually access a browser uh, within the next within the next sixty to ninety days. Fantastic. Okay. So obviously, the next section here is uh, going on to is you got, is, is you actually doing the outreach aspect of things. Uh, you can. You, you you so you so obviously you can select you can select the list you want. Uh, you, you've obviously got all your lists there. Uh, you can also you've got some different filtering options. You can have all your prospects. You can you can look at only people that you haven't sent to. You can go to people that you have sent to. You can go to people that you sent to more than a week ago and things like that. So it gives you some different filtering options. Uh, you select your template, wherever your template is. Select your from email address, which I'm going to show you in a second how you how you set up your email, uh, and uh, it automatically just pushes the template in for you. And then, as and when as and when you've got you've got a contact that has that has a, has an email address already already there, what it will do is you'll see that it automatically loads different names and so on and so forth when it has it in in this section here. Got it. So you can see that it's doing all of that. So so yeah, that's 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 it. And then obviously, once you're happy with that, like if you're happy with this this particular email, that contact, you just click on send, and it will it will send, and it will go to and it will go to the next person. Okay, so and, so what you're doing is you're you're actually just sanity checking every every rendering of the emails before they go out. It's not just going to do a blanket email to no, two thousand people. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing is. Like people have asked about bulk email and stuff like that, but the problem is, is that real outreach is not about bulking up emails to people. It's about understanding who it is that you're actually trying to build a relationship with, and then going out to them. So what this does is this all makes and streamlines that process and just makes it easier. But uh, real outreach is not necessarily about bulk email out to people. Uh, what you can do is once you have sent one message out to people, we are going to add in a feature where you can bulk follow up for people that you've already gone out to already but when you when with that initial contact it is about because you've got the ability to obviously 
to 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 go to go to that person's website. You can just click on the link there, and it takes you, it'll take you to 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 that person's website. Have a look around, see what see what see what their site's all about, and really get a feel for who that person is. Which, in my opinion, that's what that's what outreach is about. Everybody has their own way of doing things. Yeah. But in my opinion, that's what outreach is about is is getting a good feel for who that who that person is. So you've got the about us URL, you've got the contact URL. Another really good thing uh, that, that I didn't show you is that what you can also do is that you know like where on a lot of websites nowadays they don't some people don't don't have their email showing mm. on the website, but they will have a contact form. So another thing that's really really cool that we, we that we did is that if you if you come across a website where they haven't got an email but they do have a contact form, we've got a we've got an auto contact form. Uh, Ah. Not submit, but it fills it fills it out for you. It doesn't submit it, but it fills it out for you automatically. So you can see, like, it's got Mark Sam's there, Ninja Outreach. It's got like my email address. It's got uh, fantastic That's subject great. line, and it's got like, hey Mark. It's got the full name of the guy, and you can see his name's Mark there. About the writer Mark is it? so it's got his whole name there. It's, it's got all the message in there, and literally all I do is press send, and then I need to go and click here so it registers it as registers it as a send. From in our system, mm-hmm. and that's that's pretty much there. That's that's the outreach process. So that just that's just, just another way of saving yourself time when it comes to because you'd have to go and copy and paste that from whatever document, change whatever little bits and bobs within the message, and that just saves you time because it's automatically done. And then you just once you've done it, you just go to your next one, and it will load it will load up the next it will load up your next contact form for you, and it will do it will it'll do it will do the same it will do the same thing again, and you can just keep going through. And, and doing that, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So, so it, I think I, I agree with you that this this is something that that is personal. But what your tool is doing is it's helping to automate the 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 collection and the research part of it. It's not trying to mechanize the the, the messaging because that's something that that ought to be done on a on a person by person level. Very very true, and that's that's exactly. The way you explained it was, is I'm going to steal the way you said that because <laughs> because that is that is that is exactly what it's about. It's about it is about. Like, so, for example, if I give you an example, like the way I would go through this is that I would, if I've got this particular contact here, I'd click on the link. I'd go and look at that person. I'd go and look at this guy's website. Uh, like it's over here. I'd just, I'd have a look. I'd have a look through this article. I'm looking at key things like how much interaction is he getting in the, in the social in the social side of things. Um, Reading through the article, is it nice? Is it nice reading? Like, I'll go to the home page and have a look at that. I'll go to the About Us page, read about who this guy's about, and get a feel and think to myself, is this somebody that I can that I can work for, like, who who potentially would make sense for us to work together? Mm. Sort of thing. Would their marketplace make sense for this? If so, I go back to the software, uh, and I'll send the message. I'll send. I'll send. I'll send the message out to him, uh, and then. What's good about this is that now I've sent the message out to him for that particular thing. It's saved in the software that I've sent him out for, for that particular thing. And I can, as we build on this software, we, like, we're going we're gonna to make it really smart for you so you can know that, oh, I sent out to him about guest blog posting. I can also send out to him for maybe an expert roundup, like two months later or something down the line. And he's responded, and he, and he responded. So you can, you can have a list of people that, you've, that have responded to certain things. And then you can go out to them again on something different, maybe. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, just a quick, just a quick overview of some of the other things that this page does quickly. Yep. You've also got the advanced filters, the advanced filters on this page as well. So you can you can make sure that so you've selected your list and you can say you can do again. You can literally just say I only want I want I only want out of that list I only want people that are ten thousand to a hundred thousand election rank people that have got this amount of shares. Only people that have got the email addresses. Only people. Just, just see what I mean. Yeah, so, yeah. You can so, do you quick- so you might use actually diff- different methods, di- a different message for you know different levels of of blogger or contact. Exactly. So does this then send out through SMTP or you know your, your normal email account? Perfect. Perfect. That's a perfect segue into the settings tab, uh-huh. where basically you you literally just need to click on. Uh, add add an account, and what you do is you just add 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 your email details for whatever email account you've got. Now, obviously, I know that maybe security issues comes up for certain people. We can guarantee that we've got 128-bit encryption 
throughout throughout our whole process of, of our software. Also, what so if, if 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 it is still an issue for you, you can just create an account specifically for using this for for using this for using yeah. your campaign with this, and uh, you can use like free accounts like Gmail. And as you can see, you just literally put your name in, yeah. your website address, password. It automatically fills out the SMTP details for you, and you just click on save. If you're using like your domain name, like Market Ninja Outreach or whatever your domain name is, you can fill out all of those bits. You will yeah. need your you will need your incoming and outgoing mail servers, but you can just get that from your host, and uh, you just you just write that in. Once it's saved, that's your account connected to the connected to the software. And you're good to go. Got it. We also we also have a full uh, video knowledge base as well, uh, which is at ninja route, ninja route .com, uh, forward slash knowledge hyphen base, and we've got uh, videos on how to install, how to run a search, how to like use the advanced advanced the advanced features. Basically, a lot of the stuff that we've we've just gone over, we just go into a little bit more depth on how to do all the different aspects of things. Brilliant. Okay. So if if Somebody then clicks reply and says, oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. I'd love to do uh, you know, a Skype call with you, for example. Yeah. Um, is that going to come into this software? You know, how, how does it know that, that that should come into this and it's not just a general email message? So we're currently – so that part is not active in the software at this precise moment. But uh, what, what, it will, what it will do, literally in the next like, couple of weeks, it will it, – it will, it will know what email you've sent out to, and it will and it and it will be able to basically just do a scan of your of your email account. It will just basically run on a loop like every every hour or something like that. It'll do a scan of your email account, and it, and and then if obviously if you've got a reply from that same email address, it will it will, it will display it in this section down here. Yeah. So you'll just yeah. you'll just get it displayed. You'll get it displayed in this section down here, and it will only be the emails that are related to. Related to that, to that, to that uh, account. Yeah, I mean that all, that all makes sense because you know, go, just going back to what we said before, um, this is the beginning of a, an interpersonal conversation, isn't it? You know, they, they, very much so. We're not spamming. We're, we're just trying to, you know, make the best use of our time. Um, and, and you want to have a direct communication with somebody. So for me, I don't really, I don't see any issue with this coming into my Gmail and then I deal with it personally from there. Because what we're, what we're about is, is building real relationships, not just trying to spam yeah, no, the world. No, definitely. And the thing is, is you are allowed to send out a business email to, to somebody. What you're not allowed to do is to like send out like thousands of emails when, when you, uh, misleading titles and so on and so forth. But if you have a constructive business email to send out to somebody, you're allowed to actually send that out to people. Now, and, and you're allowed to follow up as well. But obviously, if you do have a, a structured offer or message to go out to somebody, as I said, like with the guest blog posting, we were seeing like a 25% uh, response rate and people, 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 like, people coming back to us uh, like wanted, wanted, wanted to work with us and stuff like that. Like it's really, really good. Like I can even show you. Well, it worked for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, twenty five percent so, response rate is insane. Yeah, so you can see here we've got like a Google Doc here, and uh, these are like all the, these are like a lot of the people that have said like yes to guest blog posting and and these are like like we've got. And literally, we started this at the, uh, two weeks into two weeks into January, and we've mm -hmm. had like over we've had over seven guest blog posts published. Uh, we've got these ones that are pending at the moment; so they're going to be publishing very soon. We've got these ones where we've submitted the titles already to 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 these websites, and this is all from using the software, which has given us more exposure, links back to our website, traffic to traffic to our site as well. It's amazing. Brilliant. Yeah. I recognise one or two friends on there. <laughs> oh, excellent! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, look, brilliant. I mean, it's it's great to see see it working. Um, it it it's not like anything that that I've ever seen before. You know, there Thank you. some similar things in link building, like for example, Word Tracker's Link Builder was great, but I think they've discontinued that now. That project, okay. um, which I've used, it doesn't do what this do. Mark, there's one thing that that I'm interested in that I haven't seen, which is how long does it take 
the the software to start pulling up useful results. Oh, okay, so let me let me just quickly to show you show you a. Uh... So if we were to loop right back to the beginning and say, you know, can can I can I throw a, a subject at you? Yeah, please do. Okay, so if we were looking for say craft ale bloggers, you know, like real ale bloggers, um, let, let's let's just see in in real time how how quick it is. Craft ale, yeah. So I'm going to go craft our blog, yeah? Yep. Um, and what's the 100 for? Is that like a limit to... How, how, yeah, how many results? So just for the example, I was going to do 25. Or do you want to do 100? No, I don't mind. Don't mind. Let's do, let's do 25. And uh, let me close this bit here. So we're starting now. Okay. I'm going to press search. Go. Go. So you can see at the top there, it says it's working. Uh-huh. Uh, obviously, the software has to go out to... We got to a ton of different resources, a ton of different directories and APIs, and you saw how much, like, we pulled back, I think it's just under 50 different data points. So uh, the software has to obviously go out to go out to those places, start pulling back all of, all of those different data points. It takes, yeah, so about maybe, to, it takes about maybe a minute to a minute and a half to start pulling back the information. Right, so Once it's, it's, not, it's not a come back tomorrow thing. It's, you know, no, 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 not, no, even, no, not no. even a make a cup of tea thing, really. No, no, definitely not. Like, literally, as you can see, there we go. It started to come back. It started to pull back data. What we do is every 25 results, we drop, we drop, we drop it down. Like it drops it down. But if you want to see the results beforehand, you literally click on View Results, and there you go. The results are there. The data that we just pulled in is all there. These craft files have what you've heard of. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look. Book, Book and Bailey's, Ghost Drinker, Blogspot, Brewdog. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's already started pulling it back. Now I'm on, now I'm on ten. I can click, I can click view results again, and it's put down the rest. It's put down the rest of them. So I don't know. I think I think that's pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because the thing quick. is, you're going to want to go through these with yeah. with some care as well. You know, you're, you're looking yeah. for you're looking for the the little gems, really, aren't you? It's Definitely. it's not a not looking for hundreds of people to blitz. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, so, definitely so, like it, and like so. Yeah, as, as I say, you, you, uh, I'll say, I'd say well, the best thing to do normally is to is to get a, a couple of hundred results around a few keywords in your industry. Like get a couple of hundred. You can even go into a thousand because obviously a percentage of it's, it's only going to be a percentage of them that are going to be right for you. So you, you're going to work through all of them, and then some of them you'll you'll be like, no, nah, that's not for me there. But you can work through them, and you'll get. You'll be able to have a good sample of results that you can work with. Yeah, it's one. Yeah, brilliant. So I, I can, I can see how this not not only would save you a lot of time if if you if you want to promote your own business because I mean obviously bigger businesses might be hiring uh, PR agencies for example but these days I think a lot of us small medium business owners like me we're doing a lot more of this kind of stuff ourselves and, and you you can do it yourself. You know, with the help of tools like these. Um, well, I don't want to say too much, but we just had the, we just had yesterday. We just had a a big, uh, air, like a, a flight company, uh, that 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 basically you can you can go and book a flight to different different places in the world. Sign up, sign up to us. So, uh, nice. I think big company. I think big companies are actually seeing the benefit of. Of the of the of the ability to reach out to these influencers as well, because the smaller smaller com smaller companies have no choice but they have to do this. And the only other way to do it is to get an Excel sheet and put, copy and paste all these bits of information in one by one. And what would take you maybe fifteen minutes to get all of these different data points, you you can have you can have a whole list already done for you. Yeah, that's the real power of it. Is it and having all that? You know, are they socially active? Oh, is, is this a blog that's worth paying? Go on. I forgot another thing I forgot to tell you about is that <laughs> well, another thing you can do as well is on the list view, you can if you're if if, if if for whatever reason you want to export the list out and use the list elsewhere, give it to an outsourcer to do something with it or whatever, you can export the list out. You can literally just click on export, uh, change the oh, name cool. and, and it turns it into a it turns it into a CSV. Nice. In addition to that as well, 
if you've got a list of URLs and you want and you want all these different data points for those URLs, you can click on import and you can put your list of URLs in here. Uh, click on start and it'll put, and, and it'll basically do exactly what it's done when I'm using the keyword, but instead just just be on those those URLs and pull and, and pull all the different data points that you want for those particular URLs. Uh, we are going to be adding aspects so that you can so that you could put so you could import like a CSV as well and you can have like names and email addresses and different bits and bobs and 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 and, and import all of that in as well. So yeah, yeah as I say we are a startup and we are we are developing as well. We're going to be consistently developing based on uh, our customer feedback and trying to be as agile as possible. Fantastic. So for obviously I'll I'll put on a link for anyone who wants wants to give it a whirl. Um, mm -hmm. Are there any particular incentives why people should should get on board now? Definitely, because the prices that we're we're currently at these are like our this is like our early bird pricings because we we're, we're really seeing like like, our, like we've got we've got competitors that are charging like in the regions of ten times more than what we're charging. I've seen and we're that. Not, we're, not, we're not looking to charge ten times more, but we're definitely going to be adjusting our pricing. As, as 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 time goes down the line. So if you if you if you come in now and you lock in your pricing now, then that's definitely going to be beneficial to you. Plus, coming in now, you get a lot more of our time. Like uh, as 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 we're building, we're, we're we're very much we're very involved in sitting down, getting on getting on phone calls, getting on like uh, Google Hangout calls with with our clients, finding out what's important to them. We're doing a lot of training as well. So if you want to work out how to do guest blog posting, how, how it works out within your industry, what maybe down the line we'll be charging for, we're doing for free at the moment. So we'll we'll actually help you set up a guest blog posting campaign, nice. help you help you do like maybe an expert roundup to get traffic to your website and how to how to reach out to those different influencers. We'll show you how to get backlinks by using the software. We'll work with you and do all of these things because it's 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 in our it's in our benefit. In the early stages, to have people getting great results using the software, so absolutely, we'll you want those good case studies that you can then trump, exactly. trump it around. So yeah, so exactly. so to anyone who's watching this, if you're inspired to you know to that this might actually make it possible for you, or at least make it easier for you to go out and and do your own outreach. Um, this looks fantastic. I can see how, how it's just going to save you a, a heap of time, and and maybe. Yeah, inspire you to do something that that you've kind of shied away from before. So, Mark, thank you so much for the demo. No it's been no uh, really, really useful and uh, definitely something that I'm going to be watching with interest. Excellent. Thanks, thanks, Ben, for having me on.